Oh, it's frustrating though, it really is. Cause like I said, you know, I know I used to be able to, I used to be faster, right? So like this last game we played, this girl beat me twice. She scored on me. Fortunately we won the game, but I just couldn't catch her. She just got away from me cause I couldn't catch her. And I was so pissed cause I know 20 years ago I'd have caught her. I would have 20 years ago, she'd have been four. <laughs> that all you got? <laughs> Punk. <laughs> I'm one of the smaller women on the team, but I think if you try really hard, if you give 110% on every single play, you give it all you got. Size doesn't matter. Right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I just like to watch the guys when I do that joke because they're never sure if they should laugh or not, you know? <laughs> they're always like, if I laugh, does that mean I have a big one or a little one? <laughs> I don't know. Some athletes that are very small but very impressive to me are, uh, are, are cheerleaders, you know? Because they got to do all those jumps, they got to do all those flips, they got to spell. <laughs> you know, they're always out there spelling stuff with their bodies. You know, give me a T. Give me an E. Don't you feel sorry for Chinese cheerleaders? <laughs> give me a chow. <laughs> Give me a wang. It's okay. Been there, done that. No, I don't. Uh, oh, my. Yeah, the, 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 the athletes today, we play by NFL rules, which is great, because uh, uh, when you play by NFL rules, any crimes that you commit off the field get thrown out of court. <laughs> They're so disappointing, but what I find more disappointing than the athletes are, are when they do stuff that's stupid and get caught. The, the worst part is the lame excuses they give. And the, the epitome, the worst, lamest excuse ever given in the history of the world had to be when Sammy Sosa got busted corking his bat. Do you remember what he said? He said, it was his, right, he didn't know, it was his practice bat. It was his practice bat. Okay, it's your practice illegal bat. I'll have to remember that one. I'm sorry, officer, this is my practice pot. <laughs> I thought it was Marlboro, it was marijuana. I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> well, I will tell you this, I, I got pulled over on the way to the airport last time I left to go to a gig. Got pulled over on the way to the airport. I freaked out. I'm sorry, officer, I'm a comedian. I went to the airport, I gotta get out of here. Wait a minute, you're a comedian? I said, uh-huh. He said, all right, get out of the car, stand up and tell me a joke. If you make me laugh, I'll let you go. True story, I swear, to God. So I swear to God. And I did that Chinese cheerleader thing, right? And I did the whole thing. I did the chow and the wang and he laughed and let me go. I swear, and that's so cool, right? <laughs> But, the, but then I'm thinking later, man, I wonder what those cars driving by must have thought. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 I don't think I could pass that drunk test. 